All right, so now we're doing track stuff out on the main road. Now, this is what I was talking about. You have multiple hazards. Like, the, look at the road, how crappy it is. Oh. All right, so this is the, he's a full tuck position. Uh, he's, he's trying to race uh, himself. You know, like in Mario Kart, when you have the, the ghost racer, you know, because you don't, you don't have anybody to race against. You, you just go back to your best time. Uh, we're supposed to yield. Okay, so let's go over a lot of these things. Okay, we're supposed to yield. We're, we're going pretty fast. Um, we have another signage saying, I know he's not looking at this stuff because he's paying attention to riding fast. We have another sign right there saying we have uh, oncoming traffic. We're going to be basically right next to each other. We have another car right there underneath rock form. Link in the description for the discount. Um, we're going to come into here. Now, when I talked about the track and why it's different and why it's a little better, and this is 128 miles an hour. I'm assuming because those signs look American, and I'm assuming, wait, no, yeah, this is Alaska. It says Alaska right there. So this is Alaska. He's definitely going too fast. Anyways, uh, when I mentioned the track, we remove as many factors as possible. Okay, we remove the vehicles on the road. Boom, perfect. Okay, that's a huge threat, a huge hazard to motorcycle riders is other vehicles. Okay, remove it. What about oncoming traffic? Boom, removed because you only have a track. It's going one direction only. Great, awesome. This is on mirror course, uh, Mario Kart. Anyways, uh, the other factors, you have a nice runoff. Uh, you have EMS on scene. Uh, you, you definitely checked and did a T clocks on your bike before going out to the track and pushing it. Uh, the road surface should be really good and you can always do practice laps and stuff like that, or you can always figure out how the road surface is here. You don't know until you get up to it. So you have multiple problems and then you have paint lines, you know, you have cracks. You, oh my gosh. I mean, possible deer, possible other hazards, bears, mooses, uh, mises. I don't know how you say it plurally, uh, but we're moving forward. And we're hauling butt still 129 miles an hour. And you see the road surface, terrible. And then we're getting over here. And now we have an issue of what do we do? Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Did my face, did my face disappear? There we go. Whew. That was a little weird. So now we're in this position of we're hauling butt 135 miles an hour. I think that's what it says right here. And what do we have? We don't have a shoulder anymore. We don't have a good escape path to the left because we don't know what's around this vehicle. It could be another car. All we have is this little gap right here. That's all we have is that little gap right there. I don't want to be in that position. I don't want to be in that position at all. The thing is we put ourselves in this position. So if you ever are in this position because you white staged, you white staged it and you're not paying attention at all. What do you do? Well, you're probably going to have to do this. You don't have enough total stopping distance to stop. So you're going to have to do this or you're going to crash. That's really all you have. That's all you have. And I don't want to be in that position because I put myself there. That's what this person did. So a lot of this we can kind of just not do. But look at this. Do you want to be in that position? Ross Hunter, baby. Woo! Thank you for the donation. Look at that. You don't want to be going 135 miles an hour and accidentally put our tire off into the dirt. Not a good situation. Take this to the track. Take it to the track. And you can even see the speed limit. It's 55. What are we doing? A little too much. Thank you for reaching the end of the video. I want to say thank you to Revzilla for being a sponsor of this channel. Grab yourself some motorcycle gear. This is their version of gear. This You can find this at Cycle Gear also. But click the link in the description. No extra cost to you. It's an affiliate link. It helps support the channel. So if you're going to buy gear anyways on Revzilla and you want to get some gear, click that link and help out. Like I said, no cost to you. I'll see you guys around.